Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. In this video, I'll be showing you how to grab the UTM parameters from your marketing campaigns and do whatever you would like to do with the data from those UTM URLs. So let's get started. Okay, so first a brief introduction, just because there might be varying levels of understanding here regarding uh, UTM parameters and marketing URLs and stuff like that. So if we head over just to an example from Google, uh, so you'll see that in this um, example, so Google campaigns will have different UTM um, parameters that can be set up, such as source, medium, campaign, etc. And basically, this is used to collect data from the campaign and where the person interacted with your campaign and how, and give that information to your website when the person visits your website. And the way that that's done is by attaching all of these um, parameters to a URL in this fashion. So you'll have first the domain or the page where they're visiting. And then after that, it uses queries to deliver this information to your website. And this is just a specific example of query use. Um, there are other uses except for marketing campaigns um, that you might want to add additional information to the URL. And this information doesn't change the page that they'll land on. So once they land on the page, the page will always be the same, but depending on whatever query params are added over here, you're transferring different information to your website that can be used for your own purposes. And in, in the case of marketing URLs, you'll want to know, you know where the person came to your website from, uh, which campaign it was part of, and different marketing campaigns will have different um, UTM uh, parameters. So we're just going to use these Google ones as an example, but you'll have to have in mind that you might have things except for UTM source and UTM campaign. You might have things with other names. Uh, you might have something called campaign ID or something like that. Um, but the principles for extracting these query params from your URL will be the same. So in order to do that, uh, let's head over to our uh, website and we're going to be using something called Wix uh, location and Wix location. Uh, if you check out over here in the documentation, it's used for extracting different parts of the URL and we're specifically going to be using this query part. So if I head over to our example over here, uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is to import Wix locations. Can you see me? Now you can. Uh, import Wix locations. By Wix location, not plural, uh, from um, our libraries. And then we are going to get the query. So as soon as we land on the page, we're going to want to know what queries uh, we have here. And the queries are stored in something called Wix location dot query. And the way they're stored is as an object. So each of the UTM params that, for example, you saw before will be its own key inside of this uh, query object. So I'm just going to show you how this works uh, in an example. So I'm going to say const uh, queries, and that will be equal to which location dot query. And then what I'm going to do is just console dot log uh, queries. And then I'm going to publish this because we're going to be doing this on our live site. It'll be very hard if possible. I don't think it's possible to check this out on your um, in preview mode. And I'm going to go over to Google and I'm just going to get this example um, URL, but I'm not going to take the domain because I'm going to be using my domain. I'm just going to be taking these uh, query params. And then I'm going to head over to my live site here. Um, and this is the page that I was just working on. And I'm going to just add them right over here and click enter. So I'm going to navigate to this URL and you see that we got to the same exact page that we were on before. Nothing changed in terms of the page, but this additional data was transferred to my website. And that is what we should see if I open the console over here. Uh, you'll see that we got an object back and these are our queries. So we have UTM campaign, UTM medium, and UTM source. Okay, and depending on what you call these queries, 
that is what you'll get back. So this would be a good, a good time just to clarify in terms of how the URL is built. So you see that right after our full URL for our page, we have a question mark, and then we have the name of the query, and then we have an equal sign, and then we have the data. And then any additional query after that will use the and sign instead of the question mark. So it's pretty straightforward. And now that we have this data, we just want to extract it and do something with it. So I'm going to head back over to our editor. And if you remember, we got three queries back. So that was uh, UTM campaign, I think it was. Let me check. Let me double check what we have over here. So we have uh, UTM source. I'm just going to copy these over so I don't miss anything. So we have UTM source. And then we have uh, UTM medium. I'm going to close this. And then we have UTM campaign. And the order actually doesn't matter. So I don't have to get them in this specific order. I can get them in whatever order I want. And basically, this is just deconstructing the object into three variables. And then I can do whatever I want with these uh, variables. So for example, I'm just going to display them here on the text in the text box. So I'm going to say um, UTM. No, I actually need to select that. So let's select that text box. That was I called that UTM params and dot text. And I'm just going to use a template literal. And let's write out our UTM params. Let's say UTM params. And then here, so the first one I have is source. And that will be UTM source. And the next thing I have is medium. And that will be UTM medium. And then I have campaign. And whoops, campaign. And that will be UTM campaign. And then we should see um, this displayed in our text box. And here we'll have the values of those um, things that we got back from the URL. So let's publish that. And I'm going to head back over to the live site. And I'm just going to refresh right over here. You can close this. And now you can see that we have uh, source is summer mailer, medium is email, and summer sale, which is what we have over here in the URL. And this is information that is being passed to you by your marketing campaign. And you can store this in a collection on your Wix website uh, and basically keep track of information and data and do whatever kind of analytics you need to do and see if your marketing campaigns are working or not. Um, so that is how to extract the uh, UTM uh, params from a URL. And again, this is some, this is a specific use case, but the same knowledge can be used for any type of, uh, queries that are attached to your URL. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.